Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Saki. So we will add some We were at some planet where uh, we talked to Koda's mother and now we are going to do Mars. I was so worried about mom.
what would have happened to Mom. Yeah, what is it? Excellent. We know where the cache is now. I know the type Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. We can count on at least one ship being within range. Maybe two. Valerie has more robots than men, so expect hard targets. Valerie wants to arm the Syndicate and start praying on all the little outposts and space stations that are far away from Ranger's protection. She's not a pirate, she's an extortionist. And if we let her get her hooks into these people, it could take generations before it's clean. Right now, we have a chance to stop a problem before it starts. From what I've seen and heard of you, I feel confident we can do this. It's time we deal with Valerie once and for all. I was not any cash on and I must feed.
come closer, don't attack now. Let them go to the tower first. There's a mine that I placed there. Just outside the door.
to say about you. Cora speaks about you a lot, too. I still can't believe you brought her with you. Ah, uh, well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam, too. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. Ask whatever you want. It's complicated. Oh, so complicated. Cora is the one who reached out to me a couple years ago. We exchanged messages. Then the little scam convinced me to join the book club with her. I mean, books are fine. But the looks I got from my fellow rangers were in Alexander Dumont. <laughs> we do strange things for kids. A confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock. But I lost contact with him. The syndicate got to him. And it was only a matter of time before they found me out. I owe you for the assist. I'm sure we'll talk again. And? I can see why they were eager to recruit you for the Rangers. Incredible? I'll have to remember that. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it, emotional support, all right? If anyone's gonna make this awkward, it's not gonna be you. If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt or killed or worse. Yeah, but she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. See? Doesn't that make you feel better? It actually does. I don't agree. I don't think I ever will. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this, it has to stop. Like every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lorraine, I don't know if what we had was ever love but we used to like each other we need to get back to at, at least being civil for Cora's sake for her sake we gotta do better I promise I'll try Sam if we were gonna be really honest here Sam Cora and you we were always together Back when we were a team, Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just fell out of it long before we separated. Lillian, I am. Uh... No, no, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um, sorry, all right? It does. But it has been getting better, I think. But it's hard. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? Truce. But I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian... The last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Ah, uh, that does make sense. Maybe, maybe you can have Cora for a vacation or something. You gotta have, like, years of shore leave banked. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. And Lillian, you know I care for you, right? 
But you and me... I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone, hell, you know, lots of someones, that would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. Actually, you know, a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. I'm just saying, there are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. Well, I'll think about it. Sam and I didn't really choose to be with each other. It just sort of happened. And then Cora, I admire Sam. And he's one of the few people in the systems that can make me laugh. But I never really was. And I'm certainly not now. And you give both of us a real gift. Like I didn't owe you enough already. Now it's my turn. Sam? You, you're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. And maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. But Lillian's good people. She's full throttle freestyle ranger through and through. And I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunted mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Coe. I want to show you and have our own real talk, okay? Yeah, maybe figure out a way to repay it. Oh, I got 3,000 credits on it. The nearest Solomon Street.
सिर्फ मैं एक ही बंदे से बात करूंगा हमेशा से हमको तो नहीं चलेगा ना मेरे को हर एक टीम में मेरे को देखना है सोलोमन को स्टैचू herself. Moreno is a big player in arms manufacture. Well, thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> I almost got arrested for it once. I prefer to call myself spirited. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Who is this old man who comes in between the work on the session, man? A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel... <laughs> at peace. Lillian and I, we're never meant for each other. But it's good to have her back as a mother to Cora. It's great, even. She was over the moon, which is good, and for now. But I know Lillian, there will be days when she flakes, big time. Either way, Cora's better with her in her life, warts and all. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sensing a theme, being all behind every lucky star that's come my way lately. I see, uh, you. I've talked with you. About things no one, and I mean no one else knows. But your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. It makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. 
Yeah, that's all you did. Right. When we met originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or ward or something. But, uh, you know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Huh? can't argue with that. I just want you to know, come thicker than hell or high water. I'm there for you. Every time. So let's go, partner. to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. Well, I'm relieved that the United Colonies agreed to use their genetically engineered microbe to exterminate the Terramorphs. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. Hmm. That was a smart choice you've made. A solid scientific decision. That's a wise decision. Besides, if Chief Engineer Kalkani believes that the microbe will be effective, then we have to trust her experience. Unfortunately, there's no use dwelling on the past. You need to live with the decision that's been made. If it helps, despite the Lazarus plant being simply locked away, I truly believe that your decision has made the settled systems a safer place to live. It's my pleasure. Well, I suppose I've taken up enough of your valuable time. Back to it. This was the talk. When you have a few minutes, this is something I'd like to discuss. That's why Thanks I for taking time to chat. I I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation and it's given me a lot to think about. Not at all. It's just a list of requests. But when you read between the lines, it's obvious my absence is causing issues. You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps. Until the UC decided to axe the department. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. 
At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Yeah? You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Ah, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shattered division and a bunch of excuses. That depends on your definition of significant. Discover a rare neutron star, and no one cares. But slap a picture of a kooky alien life form on SSNN, and suddenly you're a goddamn rock star. It's all about the propaganda, what gets the people excited. <sighs> That's See, what the United Colonies was focused on at the time. This also happens in real life. Nobody even thinks. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down I because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Until you are dead. Yes, maybe. Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> It's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Oh, of course you aren't. Just the fact that you took time to listen means a lot. Look, um, I've already taken up too much of your time and honestly, I'm exhausted. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Have any new books for me? Oh, that's my favorite question. I've thought a lot, lot, lot about this. It's a very important choice after all. My favorite book is Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It's about some explorers who go down a volcano and find a secret underground world below Earth's surface. It's a great story, even with the scientific inaccuracies. Back when it was written, people didn't know the center of the Earth is a huge ball of molten metal. <laughs> you know, you have a hell of an effect on people around you. Yeah. I just want that effect to be working in real life too. to say anything. 
anything else. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. Marco's done well for himself. One might say too well. I mean, I would say that at least. This music is gonna put me to sleep. Why do we have a room like this? It's just full of knock your socks off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. Ah, the dulcet tones of Welcome. Yeah. May's Welcome. message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member, I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so there is a constant need for skilled pilots. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Co. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. Major we Hall. all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. To settle accounts, Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. 
But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are in forces for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You're on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today.
क्या दिखा रहा है गिव द इनक्रीज लेट टू एलेक्स शरीद ये कहाँ पे Says we might go to Paradiso next year. She's all excited. I wonder if they have any good bookstores there.